An American spacecraft is finally back on the moon for the first time in more than 50 years. The United States has returned to the moon for the first time in more than 50 years. The lunar lander named Odysseus blasted off on a rocket last week and successfully landed on the moon yesterday. In a celestial throwback that's got everyone looking up, the United States has made a stellar return to the lunar surface, marking a comeback for over half a century. But this isn't merely a nostalgia trip, it's a leap into the future. The comeback mission is armed with cutting-edge technology and a renewed sense of cosmic curiosity. So what's the deal with this lunar resurgence, and why now? Grab your spacesuit, because the journey begins here. Before we move on, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell, that way you won't miss out on any of our exciting updates. The Odysseus lunar lander just pulled off a historic feat, marking the first time the United States has landed on the moon in over half a century. Picture this as a sort of lunar cargo mission. This success comes hot on the heels of a not-so-great attempt by another U.S. lunar lander just last month. Odysseus, or as they call it, Odi, is not your average spacecraft. It's the brainchild of Intuitive Machines, a team all about commercial lunar missions. Their mission? Drop off small packages, or as they call them, payloads, right on the moon's doorstep. Now, the last time a craft from the U.S. set foot on the moon was way back in 1972, Apollo 17. Anyone remembers? That's a pretty long break, but Odi just broke the spell. NASA was so stoked about Odysseus that they dished out a whopping $118 million for this lunar escapade. The deal went down under the fancy name Commercial Lunar Payload Services. So what's a payload, you ask? According to the space experts at Ivona, it serves as the essential component of a spacecraft, dedicated to achieving the primary objectives of the mission. It could be scientific gear, communication gadgets, or any other fancy equipment needed for the mission. Meet the Nova C, the rockstar model of the lunar lander that Odysseus rolls with. Intuitive machines spilled the beans, calling it roughly the size of a British telephone booth with legs attached. NASA adds that it's a hexagonal cylinder, standing at 4 meters and slightly over 1.5 meters wide. And wait for it, Odie is loaded. Not with snacks, but with 5 NASA payloads and one from a commercial player, totaling an amazing 220.462 pounds, or 100 kilograms. Hold on to your space helmets, because NASA's cargo for this lunar journey is way more than just your run-of-the-mill equipment. It's a cosmic treasure chest of exploration wonders. Imagine devices for communication, advanced navigation tools, and equipment designed for precise landings. Additionally, there's valuable information about rocket exhaust and activities on the surface of the moon. And let's not forget the intergalactic weather report and its impact on radio astronomy. According to Joel Kearns, the Deputy Associate Administrator for Exploration at NASA's Science Mission Directorate, this mission is a space delivery service. NASA's shelling out the cash for this space exploration, saying, hey, take our gear, slap it on the moon, and bring us back the deets. Imagine ordering a package, but instead of a delivery guy, we've got a whole lunar lander making the special run. But get this, it's not just science stuff on board. They've thrown in a sprinkle of art and tech magic too. Jeff Koons, the American art maestro, has a little box in the mix. Inside, 125 shiny steel balls, each representing a different moon phase over a month. Koons is all about honoring the big shots in history, tying his artwork to the accomplishments of past legends. So it's not just about data, it's a cosmic celebration of human achievement. In the words of Intuitive Machines, the genius minds behind this lunar joyride, Coons, are laying down the artistic vibes to inspire future dreamers and doers. So, it's about sprinkling a bit of human history and creativity on the lunar landscape. Odysseus touched down on the lunar surface at an exact 6.23pm EST or 23.23 GMT on a Thursday, making quite the grand entrance into the cosmic scene. This lunar adventure was kicked off by SpaceX, using their trusty Falcon 9 rocket launcher, lifting off majestically from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida back on February 15th. Picture this, Falcon 9 propelling our lunar explorer into Earth's orbit at speeds exceeding a mind-boggling 24,854.84 miles per hour. That's the cosmic equivalent of a SpaceX roller coaster ride. 
However, after a thrilling 48 minute journey, about 223 kilometers or 139 miles above our blue planet, the rocket gracefully parted ways with our lunar buddy, Odie. Now, with a hearty farewell from its booster buddy, Odysseus was left to navigate solo in the vastness of space. Talk about self-reliance. Odysseus, armed with an onboard stellar map, had its navigation strategy to find its way around the cosmos. Aligning its solar panels with the sun's rays, it smartly recharged its batteries, ready for its lunar escapade. If all goes well on its lunar odyssey, this hexagonal marvel will spend a solid seven days moonwalking, diligently working until the lunar night draws its curtain. When the night sky takes over, Odysseus, the diligent worker it is, takes a well-deserved nap in sleep mode. Now, after covering a whopping 400,000 kilometers or 250,000 miles in its journey, Odysseus initiated a dramatic 73-minute descent to the lunar surface. CEO Stephen Altimus from Intuitive Machines mentioned at the mission's onset that they were rocking an 80% chance of success. Just before the grand touchdown, the craft's laser navigation system decided to take a coffee break. The Intuitive Machines flight control team, however, showcased their prowess by quickly switching to a NASA laser system on board, the Navigation Doppler LiDAR. A detour around the moon was added to the itinerary to accommodate this 11th hour switcheroo. NASA's Space Tech Mission Director and Deputy Associate Administrator, Prasun Desai, spilled the beans. We put the Navigation Doppler LiDAR as a tech demo and as a test, we weren't planning to use it for the actual mission, but now we are so it is the primary system to help provide the velocity and altitude information. Post this nail-biting experience, with hearts pounding, the real suspense unfolded. After Odysseus landed successfully, there was radio silence from the lunar surface. As minutes ticked away, there were initial worries about the lander's status. A collective sigh of relief echoed when, after a bit of celestial jigsaw puzzling, a communications link was established between Odysseus and the control team back on Earth. Within a couple of hours, Intuitive Machines delivered the good news. Odysseus was upright and starting to send data, complete with captivating images from the lunar realm. Beyond merely ferrying payloads to the moon, this lunar lander is on a cosmic fact-finding mission. Its primary gig is to scope out the lay of the land, especially at the moon's southern pole in anticipation of NASA's grand plan for a crewed mission in September 2026, starring Artemis III. Why the Southern Pole, you ask? Rumor has it, it's an ice oasis. Water ice, to be precise. But before astronauts pack their spacesuits for this frosty lunar locale, NASA's playing a smart by gathering more intel. The agency wants the 411 on how much water is hanging out down there and, more importantly, how easy it is to get to. Water on the moon is like the Holy Grail, a crucial resource for future lunar explorers. The big picture? NASA's dreaming big. They're not just eyeing the moon for a weekend getaway, they're in it for the long haul. The Southern Pole is the prospective neighborhood where NASA plans to build its dream home, a permanent lunar base. And guess what? That's not the final destination. The moon is just a pit stop, a launching pad for something even more cosmic, Mars. Sue Lederer, the brainiac behind the Commercial Lunar Payload Services project at Johnson Space Center in Houston, said at a press conference, The goal here is for us to investigate the moon in preparation for Artemis, and really to do business differently for NASA. Translation, NASA's got a new game plan and it involves creating a lunar economy. Picture this, a marketplace in space where private companies are flexing their cosmic muscles, all vying to be a part of the lunar journey. Hold on to your space helmets, there's so much more to uncover about our silvery neighborhood. Ali Bramson, a planetary scientist from Purdue University, said, There is so much more that we have to learn about the moon. Everything from how it formed, to the technologies needed, to how people survive on the surface of the moon, so much science and technology that we still have to learn at the moon. The moon's a cosmic puzzle, and NASA's on a mission to crack the code. It's not just about flags and footprints anymore. It's about building a future where the moon is more than just a celestial nightlight. It's the launch pad to the stars. Exciting news echoes around the globe as countries embark on a contemporary race to explore the moon. In the last year alone, both India and Japan triumphantly landed probes on the lunar surface. China, a seasoned player with rovers on the moon for over a decade, now boasts Odysseus as the pioneer among privately constructed lunar crafts. Following the Odysseus milestone, 
attention turns to China's Chang'e 6, a robotic lunar mission slated for a May 2024 launch. Its mission? To bolster China's assortment of lunar rocks and soil. NASA joins the celebration, marking a historic moment with Administrator Bill Nelson proclaiming, Today, for the first time in over half a century, the U.S. has returned to the moon. He credits this triumph to NASA's robust commercial partnerships. Amidst cheers and relief, the broader team, including families and mechanics, revels in the success after enduring many tense hours. The moon, once a distant dream, now resonates with the footsteps of exploration and international collaboration. Join the lunar celebration, tap that like button, share your excitement in the comments, and become part of our space exploration family by subscribing. Thank you for spacing out with us, and see you next video.